Bristol, Virginia is moving forward with an ordinance that would up the punishment for their camping ban within public properties. Many are wondering what it will mean if that amendment is implemented. The ordinance would make it a class one misdemeanor to camp on public sidewalks as well as city owned property. Mayor Becky Nave says many business owners came to the city about camping problems. News Channel 11's Diana Scurry spoke with a nonprofit organization that works with homeless individuals to see how the new ordinance will affect them. And that's the only place they can sleep? Then why is it a problem? They're not bothering nobody. Would you rather them break into a house, a bandit house, or someone's uh, uh, occupy house? C.J. Williams sleeps in a tent at night. The potential ordinance that could land him in jail is news to him. He says he doesn't have many options if this goes into effect. I would have much rather been in jail the first two weeks when I was homeless and have to be on the streets without a tent and the police constantly moving you around. So I, I'd probably go, I hate to say it, I'd probably go to jail because you get three hots in the car and you get somewhere to sleep. You know, nobody's going to be bothering you. The ordinance passed on its first reading. Councilmember Neil Osborne voted no. He suggested finding an alternative way to help the homeless population. I think our short term best bet is we need someone to coordinate these resources, whether it be a single, a single individual, whether it be an outside organization who can coordinate all the resources we need an individual or a person to do this. Long term, the answer is, is we need more housing. The Haven of Rest Rescue Mission is a place where the unhoused can come to shelter. Their executive director, Brian Plank, believes that this amendment will just cause more harm to these people than help. Just gets them embroiled in the legal system. It kind of criminalizes the situation that they're in. And it doesn't make it any easier for them to move forward because they're just paying fines. Plank understands where business owners are coming from, but he believes this amendment will create unintended consequences. And unfortunately, that is also fueling the drug problem because if you're trying to stay awake all night, that's hard to do. And so people are resorting to meth. Councilmember Osborne says he hopes they can postpone this change until they have more of a plan. He says he will vote no if it still goes up for a second reading. In Bristol, Virginia, Jayana Scurry, News Channel 11.